Welcome to a container network functions demonstration by Pantheon Tech. Visit our new page cdnf.io for more information on available CNFs. For an in-depth look besides this voiceover, you can read the subtitles included in this video. In this video, we will demonstrate the capabilities of three cloud native functions, a dynamic host configuration protocol, an AT44 and an access list. All of this running on top of a Kubernetes cluster deployed within a Contiv VPP CNI. Imagine this being a use case in which a client is dynamically and on-demand provided with network services. Four virtual machines have been provisioned using Vagrant. Please note that two nodes are Kubernetes clusters, one is the master, one is the worker. The client is connected to the worker node via a local connection and the gateway is connected to the master node. The interface of the demo client is not initially configured and the client cannot access the gateway. We will now deploy Kubernetes with Contiv VPP for networking. We will now deploy and interconnect CNFs using a set of YAML formatted resource definitions. Firstly, we will be deploying a virtual L2 network segment, which will interconnect the client with our DHCP and NAT44 cloud network functions. Then, we will connect the demo gateway and the demo client virtual machines with the Contiv VPP network. You can see that our access list cloud native function is deployed to restrict traffic coming from the outside towards the clients. The NAT44 cloud native function is deployed to provide address translation and port redirection between both the gateway and the demo client virtual machine. On the other hand, the DHCP cloud native function is deployed to allocate an IP address for the demo client. Finally, we can chain both our cloud native functions, the NAT44 and the access list together with the demo gateway in order to connect the client with the outside public network. You will see that the network connectivity and services are now deployed and ready to be used by the client. To prove our connectivity, we will verify and confirm that the client has been assigned the first free IP address from the DHCP pool. Our DHCP cloud native function also configured the client to use the IP address of the NAT44 cloud native function as the default gateway. We will now test the connectivity between the client and the outside world. Meanwhile, we can observe on our demo gateway that the ICMP packets are source native by the NAT44 cloud native function. Circling back to our demo client, we will request forwarding for the port 8000 from our NAT44 CNF using the PCP protocol. Using Netcat, we start server listening on the forwarded port 8000. With the port now forwarded, it should be possible to connect to the server from our demo gateway. Coming up, we will request redirection from an external port 9000 to the local port 9001 using a UPMP protocol suite supported by our CNF NET44. We will use Netcat again to start server listening on the local side of the redirected port. It should now be possible to connect to the server from the demo gateway using the aforementioned redirected port. The actions of port forwarding or redirection is implemented using the NET plugin from VPP. Active port mappings can be displayed using the VPP command line interface. Our last step will be port forwarding the well-known port 80. However, accessing it from the outside should be blocked by our access list CNF. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out our new website cdnf.io for a list of available Pantheon Tech developed cloud native functions.